All right, what is up Florida Outdoors people? Welcome to the cooking section of this Fort Pierce adventure. This is gonna be my cooking video. Right here, as you can see, we have something very special. I'm gonna do spadefish versus lane snapper. So we got some lane snapper right here, skin still on. And then we have some spade fish that I uh, pole speared that we're gonna try. And I, I'm gonna try and do a blind test. That's gonna be kind of hard to do, but I think I'm gonna try and do a blind test for the spade fish versus snapper. So I'm gonna do something real simple, real simple recipe. Basically, all I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna take some aluminum foil. I'm gonna put the fish in the aluminum foil. I'm gonna take some butter, put some butter on it, and then I'm just gonna douse the, them in Old Bay. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to get the skin off of this lane snapper, and then we will put it on the grill. Grill is warming up right now, so I will check back with you guys after I get the lane snapper flayed. So talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have separated the two pieces. I do have to say that is looking pretty thin getting those scales off. I didn't descale this fish at all, but we got ourselves a little nugget fish. So, yeah, I'm excited for this, guys. As you can see, new shirt. Show you guys the back of it. I thought it was kind of cool. Figured you guys would enjoy it. So, yeah, we're gonna get these prepped up. I'll show you guys how I prep this fish. All right, guys, kind of talk with my hands a little bit. Yeah, sorry, I'm stupid. All right, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the old bay here and you're just gonna give them a little, a little bit of a dusting I like to be pretty conservative, or not conservative, I like to be very liberal with um, the seasoning that I put on here. I'm gonna rub it in just a little bit, make sure it gets in there. Sometimes, if you really wanna be smart, what you'll do is you'll cut slits in it, like you would do with ducks to really get the seasoning down in there. So, got one side done. Ooh, that was, that was, that's a little li more liberal than I was expecting. This is gonna be spicy. Ooh, that side's gonna be a little spicy. All right, guys, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just make yourself a nice little tin foil boat. You're gonna wanna take your way over seasoned fish <laughs> and you're going to just stick it in there and then what you're going to do you're going to come over to your butter pig and get yourself a little bit of butter just throw it on top of there be good god guys i i wonder why i have high blood pressure put way too much butter on everything all right so there's that and now yeah that's it you just want to take it and just kind of create a little cavity for your fish so that way they uh none of the juices run out and you're good you're going to take your little fish potato and we're going to go over to the grill now so i'll show you guys that portion all right guys, so your grill is getting up to temperature. You're gonna open it up. She needs to be cleaned a little bit, but I like my little smoker. You're gonna take your little fishy potato and you're just gonna set it on there. And you're gonna check back periodically. You're gonna set it and you're gonna forget it. And you're just gonna let it cook for a while, check back on it periodically. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. But uh, here I'll show you uh, me actually flaying the fish. So hope you guys enjoy that. I know we're going to have a great time. 
I'm looking forward to this food. It's going to be tasty. I am excited about it. So I'll check back with you guys in a bit. See you. All right, so as you guys can see, we have a nice lane snapper, legal, a couple grunts, a massive spade fish, and another spade fish. So let's turn these into fillets using a little bit of redneck magic. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, look. A bag of fish that is definitely flayed perfectly there's no doubt at all I definitely most definitely did not screw up and oh, fish. I most definitely did not screw up and have to chop the fish up into cubes that most definitely did not happen <clears throat> all right guys so as you can see I can't see anything right now. I don't know which of the two fish is which. Um, I had someone uh, set it up for me so that way it is a genuine blind test, all right? So it's gonna be spade fish versus snapper. <laughs> yeah, I'm 26 years old. Just to give you guys some background, I have been fishing all of my life I feel like I'm gonna know the difference between a snapper and a spade fish. I mean, it, it's it, it has to be obvious, right? I mean, they're fish. They're you got one of the best tasting game fishes versus a fish that we don't usually eat, or at least I haven't ate in a while. So I look for my fork. I'm gonna put a piece of fish on. All right, so I've got a piece of fish on my uh, fork. So let's try it. Okay. That's tasting pretty good. Let's try the other piece over here. We got a scale. Hmm. So the one on my right is definitely better. That's why I think it's snapper. But I just ate this one and I got a scale and the spade fish didn't have any scales on it. The snapper did. So, that's kind of challenging. Um, yeah, even the dog is sighing. He doesn't know either. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with the one on the right is the snapper, and this one is the spade fish. Just because this tastes better than this. So, let's see. Oh, I was right. I mean, this one isn't bad. It tastes good. I definitely, I'm gonna go for a second bite on this one because this definitely tasted good. Um, yeah. There is no fishy taste to this. It is just white and flaky. It is delicious. Um, go back for the snapper. I mean, there's not a lot of snapper. Yeah. Mm. Trying both of them does kind of have a, a little bit of a fishy taste. So I'll hit you guys with the outro here in a second. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this whole Fort Pierce adventure that I've done. Um, I love Fort Pierce. Uh, 
a little bit of background I'm gonna be moving there soon so I'm excited for that guys but that being said I'm gonna eat my fish and I'm going to love it because this is some amazing fish and I hope you guys are ready for some fun adventures down in Fort Pierce we're gonna be doing some offshore fishing some more diving some more spear fishing I'm excited guys I'm gonna eat this fish you guys are gonna watch me eat this fish because you know how tasty snapper is if I can actually get a good piece so mm, I love my cooking that's how I got to be this size but guys that's gonna do it for me that's all I got for you I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for tuning into this video remember if you ain't wet you ain't fishing in Florida see you guys